Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful necklace with small peyote stitch cylinders out of delicate beads and these beads of course between them. Uh, I showed you a similar work with a ring and I'll link it here at the eye icon to see. This is a peyote cylindrical stitch with a zipper at the end. It's easy to make and I'm going to show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. But let me pull this out and show you how this cylinder looks just to see. I promise it's easy to make it similar to the ring that I showed you as I said. And uh, I'm providing a pattern showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you don't have Delica beads down there I'm providing a link where you could buy some from if you wish. And now if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like the ring and the necklace that I'm showing you here and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action you would also check out my Bijuteo Fast Clips channel that I have also in description and here at the eye icon. And uh, this is all. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of Delica beads. These are 11 0 beads and I use here 8 millimeter beads with larger holes. This is nylon thread that is 0.2 millimeters, which is size D. The brand is Nemo. Here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and this pattern that I did myself. And I'll show you how I'm using during this project. And you will also see it here at this corner. And when you follow it, everything will be okay. And what else I'm using is this cord. As you may see where I will put those beads and the ready products that I'm going to show you how I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to do first is to take uh, this stopper bead and I'm going to slide this down here almost until the end of my thread. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this bead because I don't want it to move too much. Okay, so now this is what I have. And according to my pattern that I will do with the familiar peyote stitch, first I need to take 12 beads. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 white and 1 red bead. These are 12 beads and these are in fact my first two rows because with peyote this is the first row, this is the second row and this is a mosaic beading and first I take uh, the number of beads for the first two rows. Okay, you will see it also here at this corner. So now what I need to take are 11 white beads, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 white beads. Okay, and now I have my 11 white beads, 3 plus 3 plus 3 and plus 2 are 11. I'm sliding those down and then according to my pattern that you are seeing here at the corner, I need one red bead. And I'm going to slide it down. Okay, now I have this. And then it comes the next row. You could also see it here. And the next row consists of red, white, white, red. And then a white and a white. Okay, and then I will start the next row. Okay, so now. I need one red bead, 
and I go through the following bit. I skip this red one here at the edge and I go through the following white bit. And this first row will be the most difficult. Okay, now what I want to do is make them stay like this next to each other. You see how are they staying next to each other. Then in what comes, as I said, is one white bead. I will show you this really easy. And even if you don't follow the pattern, you will be able to do this. So now I'm going through the following white bead. And I'm skipping one white and I'm going through the following and I pull and when I pull this is what I have. Like in my pattern it starts uh, going in a mosaic way. Then I do the same thing. I skip the one that's on my way. I take one white bead and I go through the following white. You see what I do. Okay. Now I have this. Now what comes here in my pattern is this red one. You see, the next one is the red. Okay, and I take one red. Again, skip one bead and go through the following. Skip one and go through the following. Okay. When I pull, I have a similar thing. Two beads arranging next to each other. Okay. Then what I need is one white bead. You see, and I'm skipping the next one and going through the following. Okay, just like this. Let me flip it to be exactly as my pattern that you see in the corner. Then what I need to take is one white bead and I'm going in the skipping one and going in the last white. Okay, and this is the stopper bead that I added. Okay, now I have this. You see? how this is just exactly like my pattern. And what comes next here is this white, then I add this one, then this one, this one, this one, and this one here. And here I start a next row with the red one, okay? So now what I do is take one, go back here, then instead of yellow, I take a silver. Okay, this is the difference that I make. Then I take one more red and here it's easier because my flower is forming and I feel it forming and I don't need to think a lot about it. Okay. Here is the side part of my flower. Then I take a silver one and go here. Then I take a white. And when I'm here at my last step, I always add a red bead and go back. When I'm here at the top, I always add a white bead. So the, here is I don't need to think at these steps, okay? So I need one silver, go back, one white, go here, then a silver in the center of my flower. Then here a white. A silver at this last step. 
next to the, the other silver okay then what i need to do is take one white go back through the silver always add white at this side one silver go back here like this one red go here another red go here then just like this and a white okay and i'm going to show you faster my next row Okay, and I'm going to repeat one, one more time what I did here. You could rewind this video and start from here and repeat all of those steps that I did. Or you could pause on this pattern and do this one more time. This last one we are not doing in this work. But if you continue this, you could make a beautiful bracelet or a ring with this pattern, uh, depending how long you repeat it. Okay, so now I will do the next one and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I repeated all of those steps one more time. If you forgot how I'm doing it, you just rewind the video see it from the beginning and just repeat this pattern one more time okay so now here i am at this step and now this is what i have and now it's time guys to make our small cylinders that we'll use in our work okay so here is how we close it you see how this bead is to the inner side and this is to the outer side and when you close them together uh, there is something like a zipper effect so they coincide and close together in a perfect circle okay so how i close them so i'm getting out of this bead and then what i need to do is go through this one that is from the other side of my work and i go like this in this direction then you see this one is going out from the other side and I'm going through it okay now this one from this side is going out and I'm going through it then you see how this stay perfectly together so this one is going out I'm just going through the ones that are going out first from one side and then from the other side okay now this one is going out you see uh, how it works perfectly together like a zipper okay and i will continue this process until the end of this work
and what I can do next guys is go one more time reinforcing this part and here with this works I need to tell you that a lot of people don't make knots at all what they do instead is just go reinforce your work up and down in different directions just like this then go back and when you're ready just cut your thread if you don't feel secure this way make several knots not double knots but single knots okay so now I should remove this one and you could also put your needle on this side and make some reinforcement before you cut it but now I'm showing it faster okay so now guys I have my beautiful cylinder and as I told you I'm making a necklace I already did uh, two of those uh, cylinders and I put three of those beads here and now it's time to put the third one okay so I'm taking my cord and I'm putting this one okay just like this like the other ones in this direction okay and now I'm adding one more bead here after I add it I will close this cord okay and now guys what I have here is my necklace ready okay guys and now my beaded cylinders necklace is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and you will be inspired twice a week with my creations down there in description you will find the full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link for my to my second channel bijuteo fast clips you could also check it out and subscribe if you want and you will find links to all of my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials thank you so much for watching bye bye from me